Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with my makeup style tag. I was tagged by this by Stephanie. I will have her link down below as well as the original video. Um, I've seen this all over and I was kind of waiting to see if I would be tagged and I didn't see that I was and then I think I mentioned it in another video and then Stephanie said, no, I totally tagged you and I missed it somehow. So I'm going to jump right into it. There are 10 questions and it's all pretty much just about my makeup, my style, what I like using, and we're going to talk about that. The first question is, what kind of eye primer do you use? Do you use liquid or do you use cream or shadow stick? I am not necessarily picky when it comes to primer. I can either use a cream shadow or I can use an actual primer. I used to use MAC Painterly before that was not cruelty free anymore. And I've used e.l.f. shadow pots. I have used ColourPop shadows. I have used nude eyeliners. I have used a Chella highlighting stick. I think I still have it. I've used this Chella pencil that's skin-based just to kind of cancel out. I've used Urban Decay Primer Potion. I really don't care what I use. Whatever I have samples of, I use is the answer. If I have to use concealer or foundation, I'll use that too. Doesn't matter to me. What color of eyeshadow makes me feel bold and pretty all at the same time? I would say something shimmery. So Stila's Kitten Works, Starry Eyes by um, Makeup Geek. So this is Kitten. I think that just this with a little bit of a liner and really great lashes looks amazing. And I always feel really, really great in a bold, yeah, starry eyed um, by Makeup Geek. I like a lot. So either one of those, I feel like if you have that on your eyes, it looks really bold, really beautiful. And then just a little bit of like a black liner and mascara and you look really great and there's attention drawn where you want it to be drawn. So I really like a nice shiny lid, like almost could double as a highlighter, like not almost, definitely doubles as a highlighter. Another one is Girl Talk by NYX, which is one of their prismatic shadows. Girl Talk. This one is starry eyed and this one is kitten. Any one of those will do the trick. I also use them for highlighters. So I like things that can double duty and be used as a highlighter today. I do have girl talk on my lid and then also as a highlighter. And those to me just make me feel very pretty, very feminine and glowy the way that I like to be glowy. And then also are multifunctional, multi-purpose, which I always appreciate. 2B is what eyeshadow color do you least like wearing and why? And that's normally for me, although you wouldn't necessarily know it by the pan that I have on this shadow, it's like pinker colors. These pinker colors, I also have a couple of them in my Too Faced Sweet Peach, like this pinker color. I like the coral, like the peachy color, but like a pink pink on my eyes, I still haven't learned how to rock. If it's like a shimmery, kind of like this girl talk, I'm golden. But if it's like an actual really deep pink, I struggle with that. I'm getting better with it, but I don't love it as much. Do I wear liquid or pencil eyeliner? And do I wear brown or black eyeliner? I wear black and I wear pencil in my waterline, but I use a uh, powder like an actual eyeshadow and I stamp it with an eyeliner brush onto my upper lid. I have hooded eyes so I've got to be really careful. I don't do any kind of a liquid eyeliner. It either feathers out into my skin because I do have like a crepey eyelid or it just transfers all over because I do have oily eyelids. Uh, so whatever primer I use I have to set it with a powder. I don't use liquid. I don't use gel. I use powder on the top and I stamp it or I use a pencil and smudge it and I use a pencil in my waterline and always black. I went brown for a while but I prefer black. Number four is CoverGirl or Maybelline. Come on, you know that you're one way or the other. Neither because I am a cruelty free beauty user and neither one of them are cruelty free so I don't use either of those companies because I think they're garbage. If I had to pick, I think my favorite mascaras probably come from It Cosmetics, who are now owned by the parent company L'Oreal, who also tests on animals, so I don't buy those either. Shit, what do I really use? I want to try the new Stila in the gold tube. I forget what it's called, called, but for right now, I also really like the Ulta brand. It comes in like an orange gold tube that's almost like cylindrical but like pointed and it's like a curling mascara. I really like that one. Five is if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear blush for the rest of your life, which would you choose? My brows permanently done, are you kidding me? Number six is does your best friend wear more makeup than you? 
no none of my friends are huge makeup users they are they dabble in makeup they wear makeup on like a night out or something but i wear more makeup than probably all of my friends number seven who taught you how to use makeup youtube my mom was never a huge makeup wearer and uh she definitely didn't teach me how and then in college i really wasn't even into it i got into makeup because of one of my other friends who was blogging with me at the time and she got me into cruelty free beauty and just back into beauty in general so whatever i know is through just like watching tutorials playing around with makeup and I just kind of taught myself what I like, but that changes all the time as I learn like new techniques, new products, new ways to use things. Self-taught on YouTube, like a whole bunch of us. Number eight, are you a fan of cream products, blush, bronzer, contour, etc.? Why or why not? Yes and no. Yes, I am a fan of cream products. I didn't think I was going to be, but I actually really do like cream blush. Cream blush to me works very, very well for me personally. There's some cream products that I really love and then others that I don't. But if I had to pick between powder highlighters or cream highlighters, I'd still go powder. If I had to choose though between cream or powder blushes, I'd probably pick cream. And why? I think that cream blushes the way I can stipple and apply it adds less texture to my face than powder sometimes and the liquid highlighters and cream highlighters I like because I can usually mix it into a foundation or apply it before or after foundation or moisturizer and uh, I guess that's more of like a liquid thing though but I do like cream highlighters in general. Cream eyeshadows I think work really well on my lids and set really nicely. I don't find them creasing too much on me personally and I don't prefer them over powders, but I do really think that they serve a purpose in my beauty like regimen. And because I have them and want to use them up, I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase them once they're gone because I have other primers and bases I can use. But I do think they serve a really, really good purpose, especially with duochromes to add something for it to set and really cling to and add dimension to a duochrome. Number nine, are you a project panner? A uh, yes. What projects are you in right now? Yes, I'm a project panner. That's the majority of what this channel is and will stay because it is what I love doing and it's the part of the beauty community that I enjoy the most. I didn't start off being a project panner, but I very quickly went to that because I liked the community of project panning better than the larger beauty community and just because I love project panning. I am currently in multiple project pans. I'm in Reminiscing Through the Records, A to Z project pan, Peeping Pan project pan, and I have another one coming up soon, but those are the three that I am currently in right now. Reminiscing A to Z and the Peeping Pan. More to come. I'm always up for seasonal ones um, for the most part. So I have two year long and then I try to have only like one seasonal one going on at a time. But if you guys have one that you're interested in me collabing with and joining you on, definitely let me know down below if there's one I should be a part of. I do have drop 10 before summer coming up soon in March. Um, and then 10 is setting spray. Do you believe in it or not? And what is your holy grail? Sorry guys, my camera overheated. I had to give it a second. The last one is setting sprays. Do I believe in them or not? And what is my holy grail? I do use them um, it, just because I do think that they work, I guess. And I tend to use the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is the one that I've repurchased the most. It's affordable. I like a dewy finish just to add some glow. But lately, I haven't been using it a ton just because I haven't needed longevity in my makeup, but I do like just kind of setting down all the powders, especially, like I've said, without wearing foundation. A lot of what I use is powder just to kind of uh, add color to my face. So what I do is use a moisturizer and then set that with an hourglass ambient lighting palette powder and then go over that with bronzer, contour, cream, blush, highlighter. And I like to just set all that down onto my face because without foundation there, I feel like there's not as much for it to stick to on my face. So I do usually like using that and I always use that NYX dewy setting. I've tried the matte one. I don't like it. I prefer the dewy. That is all 10 of the questions. Like I said, Stephanie, I believe tagged me in this. I will have her linked down below as well as the original creator. I've seen this everywhere. So I think everybody's probably already done it or been tagged in it. If not, please consider yourself tagged for me because I would love to know your answers. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please do be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Check out all my social media links listed down below and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye guys.